Hello everyone, welcome back to my workshop here. Um, this morning while I was downtown, I uh, went into one of the charity shops down there and I found this angle poise light there. Um, it cost me all of £2.50 and I think the reason for that is it's got no um, stand. It's got no, you know, so you can't stand it up and I think that's why it was cheap. As you can see there, that's the little spigot that it stands on. Um, last month, uh, Mrs. Rathbone bought me this light here, which I've been using for filming, uh, to help me film and that. And as you can see, I have it mounted in some little brackets on the wall here. Um, I can actually lift it off. It will actually come out of those brackets, so I can stand it um, anywhere else I wish, if I wish to use it on my bench or something. Um, there's just some little wooden brackets, as you can see there. And I've been using that. Uh, very recently for filming, as opposed to what I was using, this old inspection lamp here, which I had uh, hanging from the rafters of my garage roof. I had it hanging at about this sort of level, and it was, you know, swinging about, and particularly, uh, you know, unflexible, not very flexible at all to use, and it would cast a shadow with the uh, light up there on the ceiling. Uh, that is something that I have, um, the little reflector there, it was a little bit of a slightly rolled aluminium that I polished up to uh, make a reflector for the light so it pushes more light down onto my uh, workbench. I have actually got two of these, one here, and as you can see one there, that I use whilst filming in my workshop. You know, it gives me more light onto the bench. Okay, so here is the, the light from the little light that I've mounted on the wall there. If you turn that one off, nip outside a second turn the uh, lights on there we go there's a the difference again so if we have the uh, the ceiling lights and this little light you can see how much light I've got to work with whilst I'm filming now getting back to my new old light here um, as you can see it's been pat tested by the uh, charity shop so it's safe to use but we just haven't got any kind of mounting um, you know I suppose it would have a like a stand you would have on your table to mount it with I guess or a little probably a little clamp on thing to clamp onto your bench but this came like it, as it is as you see it here it also comes with a little um, spider-man on here for some reason or no, uh, other I don't know why that should be but there's a little spider-man there okay so basically what I want to do with this I want to mount it on my wall around about just here like so so that it will you know I can angle it about wherever I want it um, you can still, you know, by having it up here like this here, I can illuminate the bench or I can uh, bend it down, twisting the head around to illuminate different places whilst I'm filming. Um, so we're going to need a some form of bracket to drop this into. So this part here is roughly 12 and a half millimetres in diameter, just very roughly. So what I've done, guys, I've drilled a 13 millimetre hole in this bit of wood here just just as a you know to try it out we can clamp it in my vise like so just as a test piece it's quite firm there and then we can just drop the angle poise lamp hopefully into it like so and you can see it does actually support the, the lamp quite nicely guys and I can use it you know move it about wherever I want it I'll just pinch my finger up in there as well youch um, yeah so I can uh, move it wherever I want it basically so it's quite good so and it turns around quite nicely there's not any not too much slack going on there so a 13 millimeter hole in a chunk of wood will do so what we've got to do now is actually select a chunk of wood that I can use all right then so I have a selection of um, pieces of wood here I think this bit might be a bit too big uh, these are going to be too thin but this one here I think will do quite nicely it's a nice fairly dense piece of wood it's a bit rough we're not going to worry about that fairly dense piece of wood with a nice grain to it so it should be quite strong I think so what we'll do is we'll uh, take this one away and we'll drill it and cut it so that's roughly the centre just there and then we'll make sure it's nice and square and we'll chop it off around about three inches long an inch and a half is the centre and I'll have this 13 millimeter drill bit in my old um, black and decker drill here so what we'll do is we'll just pop it on and drill a hole ha! 
that was easy. Once again we will use the 90 degree angle on this saw handle to mark a line here which is the uh, the line I marked earlier on at three inches because what we need now is um, a couple of holes roughly like so to mount the bracket to the wall and then 20 mil in from each end we've got some more marks just here so that's where the holes are going to go for the screws and that we've got to select some screws now obviously the screws have got to be long enough to pass through the wood and then out into the uh, wall plugs that I'm going to drill into the wall as well um, I've got this box of screws here let's try these ones I think these are going to be long enough there we go as you can see they will fit through quite nicely they're just the right size so I'll have two of those little fellows for a start then and we'll find out what size they are okay so I've ascertained the two drills uh, to two drills the two screws are four millimeters in diameter at the thread just here so I've got a 4.5 millimeter drill bit loaded into me drill um, it will just about go through the wood as you can see but it will be fun to try and drill so let's do it right, that's through tighten the clamp up a bit right in. Oh, do they fit in? Yeah, not too bad at all guys, they'll do. These two screws are actually countersunk, so I'll need to uh, just countersink the hole a little bit so they'll sit in there nicely. So just do it by hand like so. There we go. I think that should be about right. Pop them in there. Yeah, oh, that's fine, that's brilliant. All right, the next operation is cutting it off. You can see on those lines there. So just get it start, get the saw started. Like so, hopefully. Done. Let's get it tidied up a little bit. The right way around. I'm going to say that's good enough guys here we have the finished product let's see if it will fit onto the uh, spigot and yes it does very nicely by the looks of it so we better get it mounted on the wall where we want it now then as I say I want it just here on the wall so we'll offer it up about there um, use my late father's little spirit level here try and get it somewhat level like that just uh, pop some screws in here for half a second you'll see why okay there's me hammer right now that should have left some uh, little holes in the wall one just there and one just there I do believe right and so here I've marked them to make them a little bit clearer but there's one just there and there's one going in just there so I'm going to have to get my drill and a masonry drill bit and um, make some holes. Get some iPro going first. Chuck them on the floor. Right, so what I've got is uh, Mrs Rathbone's Hoover rigged up here to catch the uh, debris that comes out the wall. And I've got myself a smallish drill, masonry drill bit in the drill here. Let's give it a go. So I switch the Hoover on first. Right, and here are my two pilot holes then. Um, these raw, raw plugs we're going to be using are 6mm, so I've just loaded a 6mm drill bit up into the drill, and um, we'll have a go again. Okay, so all we need to do now is to pop the uh, wall plugs in. One there, one there. And then we just have to mount this uh, little bracket of mine. 
these are posi drive screws so i'm going to be using my uh posi drive screwdriver here so what we'll do is uh yep that's the top we'll pop them in pop these screws into the little plugs here and screw them in there we go that's them both in make sure they're both nice and tight but don't overdo it and then we'll uh, just check for level again well it's moved a little bit that's supposed to be level there but um let's have a look right i'm going to call that good enough guys okay let's take the uh the new old angle poise light here and see if it'll fit in the um, the new bracket drop him in there we go and that's perfect guys that's perfect look at that so now it'll reach just about anywhere i wanted to on my bench fantastic does it work let's plug it in and find out switch it on yay look at that turn it on off there we go guys just need a better bulb in there this has got a little small bulb in there not as good as the bulb in this one so i'll be getting a, a much larger bulb like this one here to go in here and it'll be uh, much better i've got a lot more light to film with now guys okay then guys so uh, there we go that's my new angle poise light in situ been looking for this for some months now i think i actually saw this one in the charity show the other uh, charity shop the other month and it was something like five pounds uh, and then when i went back the following week it had disappeared so i thought somebody had bought it but it was back this morning for uh, two pound two pound fifty so i thought yep we're having it this time and as i say for some reason or other, i don't know why it's got a little uh, spider-man on there but it's going to do exactly what i want it to uh, in my workshop now as you can see there's the bracket it sits on it's going to be perfect guys all right well i hope you all uh, enjoyed this little look on how to fit um, an angle poise light into your workshop hope you enjoyed it i hope you'll all pop back again sometime in the near future and i will catch you later